In this video, we're going to tell you seven reasons why you should not get a British short haired cat. This is one of the most popular cat breeds. They're super cute. They're the perfect size, but there's some things that may not be perfect for you and your family. And in this video, we explore those seven reasons, something you need to be aware of if you decide to get this cat. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We talk everything cats and help you and your family pick the best cat so you know exactly what you're getting into so you can take the best care of your cat. The first reason, this cat's not independent. This cat wants to be around you constantly. So if that's something that you're not in for, then this cat won't be good for you and your family. Some people get cats because they can be independent, they do their own thing, they eat on their own, they find their own place to sleep, but not the British short hair. This cat's looking for you and wants to be around you as much as possible. So if that's something you're not into, then the British short hair won't be right for you and your family. The next reason, this cat gets separation anxiety. British short hairs love being around their family and they don't like to be left alone for long periods of time. So one of the reasons you get a cat is because you can leave them alone for long periods, but not the British short hair. They love their family, they love being around you, and they can get anxious and destructive if left alone for long periods. The British short hair can be left alone, but if they are, you make sure that somebody comes and checks on them. So if this is something you don't wanna deal with as an owner, then the British short hair won't be a good cat for you and your family. The next reason this cat may not be best for you is because they love to play. That might sound good on the surface, but if they want to play, that means they want to play with you, the owner. So it'll be up to you to mentally stimulate them and play with them with a laser, a ball, a fake toy. And if you're not up for this, then this cat's not for you. There's other cats that can entertain themselves that like to be more independent but this cat wants to be around its family as much as possible, interacting, playing, talking to you. So if you get this cat, be ready to play a lot and snuggle a lot. They don't leave your side. Next reason the British short hair may not be best for you is because they are very smart. That means that this cat needs mental stimulation. They need to play like we just said. They also need to be challenged. They like to jump, they like to explore. They're gonna be very curious. They wanna go outside. So it'll be up to you as the owner to make sure you're constantly taking care of this cat, giving them mental stimulation, preventing them from going outside, watching where they are. This cat's active and curious. And so if you don't want that and you want a more laid back, chilled cat that's not as interactive, not as talkative, then the British short hair may not be best for you and you can look to another cat breed. The next reason why the British short hair may not be best for you is because they are an indoor only cat. This is not an overly big cat. They're sensitive. They're a beautiful cat that should remain indoors at all times. This way they don't get injured, they don't get into fights, they don't get lost, and you don't have to worry about your cat. So if you're looking for a cat that's more open to going indoors and outdoors, you should look to another cat breed. There's plenty of cats that can do okay outside, but the British short hair tends to do best indoors where they're safe and you know where they are at all times. This cat has no problem staying indoors once you set the boundaries and the rules, but if you let them get outside, then they really wanna go outside and it could be a problem for you and your family. The next reason a British short hair cat may not be best for you is because they are a cat that likes to eat. This is not an overly big cat, but they do eat a lot, so it'll be up to you as the owner to make sure you're managing how much they eat. And if they eat too much, then this can get costly. It's also important that you feed them really high quality food. The link in the description is to We Feed Raw. It's natural, raw meat that's perfect for your cat. Kibble day after day can be hard on cats and it's something that they don't love. So check out the link in the description for 25% off. Feed your cat the best you can absolutely feed them and it will be great for their long-term health. The next reason is they're sensitive. This is a cat that's really fun, likes to be around their owners, but overall is not a robust cat. It's sensitive and doesn't want to be in harm's way. So if you've got an active family or other pets, this cat may not be best for you or your family. Instead, you should look to another cat breed that's okay with an active household. 
This one's a little bit more gentle, sensitive. So if you're not up for that, then the British Shorthair may not be the best cat for you and your family. We hope you've enjoyed this video all about the British Shorthair and whether or not it's right for you. This is an awesome cat. We hope you've enjoyed this video and we'll see all of you on the next one.